Hi. Hello, everybody. How are we today? I am in a bit of a rush because I forgot to do some things. But we're here now, and I'm setting up while we're starting. I'm so professional. Oh my gosh. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hi. How are we today? What's up? Let me get you on screen quick. There we go. Hi, everybody. Hello. What's up? How is everyone today? Welcome to the stream. We are doing something today that is so dumb, but it's gonna be funny. It's going to be very funny. It's going to be hilarious. We're gonna have a good time. If you don't know what the turn of phrase is, I'll explain it in a moment with good old Dags, my good friend Dags, uh, who is the Return to Freddy's expert. Hello, Return to Freddy's expert. Jump scare. Ah! Okay, what's going on? <laughs> You're on stream. Hello. <laughs> Am I meant to be giving a rundown of yes. the Return to Freddy's? Absolutely. Start? You know way more about it than I do. Okay, so the Return to Freddy's is a legacy fan game series that was made by this one guy called BFP Films, or Tyler, as he's known as, as his real name. And it started off as him making a fan game called FNAF 3 Fan Made, as a way to trick people into thinking that it was the real Five Nights at Freddy's 3. This game stole, like, this game stole a whole bunch of assets, basically just copied the entire code of FNAF 1, and most egregiously took a... <coughs> the original Candy the Cat model by Emil Mako to put into the game and just poorly photoshopped it over uh, Toy Bonnie's jump scare. Which was actually the catalyst of Five Nights at Candy's becoming a real fan game. Because Emil was so sick and tired of people using his fan-made render in their games that he made an official one. It's such so, a goofy situation. It's... <laughs> so eventually, uh, Scott Cawthon asked him to either take down the game or relabel it to something else and Tyler obviously opted with relabeling it and in this relabel called the return to Freddy's now he did some improvements to it I think he patched a few bugs he removed candy entirely who's also called sugar in this by the way their name is sugar in the return to Freddy's mythos so they took oh, them man. out and they also added like some effects to the doors to show you that like they don't work um, and ever since then, the rest is history. Tyler kept on creating games. He actually used his own assets going forward and not just copying Which other were, people's. Which um, were hilariously worse. And he got, a, he got a little bit better as time went on, but he definitely did start off pretty rough, and we'll definitely see that when we get there. Oh, yeah. But to call Tyler not the best storyteller... And not the best world builder, I think, would be a little bit of an understatement. He's he ha he includes things in his plots, such as super cancer and <laughs> ninety percent immortality. Oh. And, and I don't know. I don't know if those things become all that uh, important in the actual games themselves. But what I do know is important is that there is a secret slave back room to one of the Freddy's locations where a whole bunch of slaves worship an animatronic called the Torture Device. And there's another character named Gron, who is green. And he, the way the way he gets spring-locked... I jump out Gron, bruh. The way he gets spring-locked <laughs> is that he gets caught, like, torturing uh, some kid in a back room by Purple Guy. And then he slips on a very conveniently placed bar of soap into a spring lock suit. Wow. Look <laughs> at that. Bodzy, hello. And also, earlier, Zuby, I think with the five dollars, one of my friends made me look at the source code of these because I was the only person they knew with click team. Help. <laughs> oh man. Bye. But chat, if you don't know what a deep dive is, we've done these a few times. It's where we download as many games in one series as we can and we play through a bit of all of them and we uh, develop our opinion on this series. The first one we did way back when was Treasure Island, which you can find on my YouTube channel. 
Uh, then we did the Slenderman games, which were pretty much all awful. And now we're on to the third one for the Return to Freddy. <laughs> oh, boy. It's gonna be great. Oh, man. I think we have the $5. Return to, Return to Fetties is best Fetties? True. And they're not saying with the two euros, still a better story than Hello Neighbor? True. <laughs> Truing. Holy truing. But, Degs, are you, are you ready? I am ready. You are ready? You're ready? All right. Oh, boy. So, chat. The first one up is, of course, the original, as Dags put it best, Five Nights at Freddy's 3, fan made. <laughs> you want to you wanna know a very cool thing about the original FNAF 3 fan made? Yeah. There is no RNG in this game at all. Everything happens in a preset motion. So everything that goes on is completely as expected from the plate. So it's a scripted experience. It's 100% scripted. Oh boy. Oh. It's one of the only fan games that I know is completely scripted. Oh, hello Isaac. Return to Freddy's is best Freddy's. True. I unironically love this series so much. It's so stupid. What was that? What? Where did that come from? What? Did what come from? What happened? I heard random music. What? What, what the? What? None of my. None of what, my tabs. What's going, None what's of my going on? Tabs are on. I, what? what? What was that? Did you install a virus? It's. No, I no, I checked all of these. We spent an hour checking these. Then what is it? What is it doing? What, what was that? <laughs> what? Hold on, open it again. What? No, I didn't open anything. It just happened. Oh. We we haven't even done anything yet. No. That that's weird. That that wouldn't be the game then. We didn't even launch anything. I... What did you do, David? What alert sound? Do? Nope, not on alert sound. What was that? Did Super <laughs> Cancer Strike? Oh no. BFP Films has infected your computer with super cancer. Hold on, Chad. I'm gonna genuinely do a malware check. Hold on. Oh boy. I'm gonna starting actually off stream, starting off the stream of a malware check. Hold on. We're we're gonna be chilling here for a second, chat, while it scans for current threats. Um. <laughs> um. <laughs> Isaac with the five dollars. That's finally the five dollars. Hey, David and Dags, you two are cool. Is that Docco with the wallpaper? Yes, it is. And thank you for the five dollars. That's five. What was that? All all donations go to the fund of getting David a new PC after this experience. <laughs> I haven't even opened any games yet. What in the world? <laughs> all donations are going to the fund of funding his virtual machine next time he decides to play FNAF fan game. <laughs> <laughs> We all know we all, we know what happened to this channel because the Tesla scam channel. Yep, if if uh, everything goes to crypto, you'll know what happened. You two are go. Is the wallpaper? Oh boy. What? What was that? All right. Well, we're gonna be here for a moment, chat, while it scans my computer. Um, are we playing all three games? Oh, there's more than three. Yeah, there's four. Five. Oh, well, yeah, five counting Desolation. Six, so, actually. Because the there's, original. There's, oh, yeah, true. There's a, there was a canceled Return to Freddy's 5 that had, like, seven teaser games made for it, but I cannot find the archive of any of them. Like, I even reached out to my buddy Minaxo, who made an entire Return to Freddy's deep dive video, and he said he couldn't even find them. The only people that have uh, archived footage of this is, like, Al Alitium X, who has 
some footage of the Return to Freddy's demos from way back when. There was Radzla and Desolation. So Radzla was canceled, but we do have Desolation. <laughs> I, I'm rechecking all these files. Give me a second. While this is going, I'm checking everything. What was that? That was very odd. Okay. That was a strange occurrence. That one's fine. What did you do, David? No current threats. No okay. current threats. What was that then? <laughs> Is an actual ghost haunting your computer? Huh? <laughs> what? Well, do you have game tools open? No. Well, how's the malware going? Great. Was that the stream? Was that from the stream that played the music? I have no idea where it came from. Second, I heard yeah, I'm no, checking all my and nothing is playing. I heard, I heard nothing. Like it wasn't a soundboard or anything like that. I swear on my life, I didn't activate a soundboard. I know. I have your soundboard muted. I would know. <laughs> I, huh? Oh my gosh, that was freaky. But okay. Check task manager. Actually, that's a good idea. That's a very good idea. Okay. What you tuned in for? Yep, we tuned in for trying to save the Baron computer. The Baron station. The Baron station. This appears. This is apparently security breach. This is not security breach. This is the return to Freddy's. Which you can argue is either better or worse. I'm so... I'm so confused. What am, was that? I have no idea what that was. Alright, well, I'm not seeing anything out of the ordinary, so I think we're okay, but that was so weird. That, that was a very strange occurrence. <clears throat> That was some Disney Junior uh, music. <laughs> All right. Well, oh yeah, sound mix. Yeah, I'll do one more check of the sound mix. Yeah, we'll see if there's anything. Name not available. I beg your pardon. What are you? There's something in my sound mix called name not available. What? What is going what on? Is, what happened? Is that it? Dude, this is... Are we all just, like, having a group hallucination? What? 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 What is it? I don't... I'm so confused! What does that mean? The Mimic has infected The Mimic! <laughs> oh the my mimic. gosh! What? Is this an ARG? This is not an ARG, as funny as that would be. That would be amazing, but no, like, literally, I don't know. I'm looking through my task manager, and I do not see anything out of- Wait, what is this? What? Uh-oh. And that. Um. There's just a random video open in the background. There's a random video opened in the background. It's suspended. What? I- what is that? What is the video? I don't know. It was just suspended. I don't want to open it. I just got rid of it. You just got rid of it? Yeah, it's... Dude. Dude, well, what in the world? Can we, can we play the game now? I think so. I think we're okay. I don't see anything. Okay, I don't know what that is. But I'm. what I'm going to do, I'm just going to mute that source. I don't know what that is, but okay. All right, I think we're okay. All right, we're going to be able to move on. Okay. All right, we're fine. That's why they give the five dollars. <laughs> they give the five dollars. All right. Anyways, pretend nothing happened, and we're gonna jump into it. Here we go. Oh boy! Oh boy! Danger. Yipper. Where is it? This is some creepy pasta shit. It is. All right. What the? What? Oh, oh yeah. This is so uh, loud. Turn down. You also need to uh, fix the aspect ratio. 
Oh my. It's some creepy pass and stuff, dude. What? In the world, man. <laughs> like a guess like that. This is so scuff. <laughs> okay. I saw, I saw a flash of Daco before you did that. <laughs> Okay, well, here we go, yeah, that, chat. That was, that was the cutscene. Oh my gosh. I, this is Five Nights at Freddy's 3. This is so scuffed. This is the real one. This is so scuffed. What's going on now? Why did it kick me out? No, I want to go back. All right. Here we go. Okay. All right. That was a, a start to the stream, that's for sure. Okay. See that foul. Five Nights at Freddy's 3, apparently. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Let's play the <laughs> restart the track. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's party! Freddy Fazbear's Pizza! ...have not been fixed and been repaired last night. They have also brought back everyone's favorite pirate fox, Foxy, the murderer of the four children and one oh. innocent child yet to be found. Oh, they okay. Also, the also brought something from the old pizzeria something how are you reading this bag hopes and joys of the children and grown-ups alike but the building is yet to be cleaned not responsible for ended in that not responsible for injury such dismemberment how are you reading that i, I just uh, paused uh, oh okay uh, also that uh, uh Freddy uh, render uh, that's uh, on is also not okay that's also a stolen model do... oh, i Huh? Anyway, it's just my problems. Nobody, what? You Why are the doors closed? Yeah, what? I open doors. My power. I need that. The doors don't work. But they do. They don't do anything from what I remember. What? Why is my power taking down so fast? Yeah, the doors have no effect on your gameplay. What? 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 You want to use the mask if they get into your office. I, I. Huh? Oh, what does that mean? Gotta wind up. Wait, is that is that show stage? What does that mean? I don't know what that means actually. For so many years. Is that is that puppet? Check the music box. Okay. Um. Oh, that means they're about to move. It's six. I think, that means, I think that means that they're about to move. Yeah. It's been a really long time before I played this game. I played this game. I know. I. Is he having a fun time, David? Oh. Uh, yeah, this is a puppet. It's a PNG. It's a PNG. Broke up that off the wiki. What? Mask? Oh, okay. I don't think it's made the sound stop. Do you, but look, look at look at the fan when he turned the light on. Uh. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I should be golden. Really, really golden. Golden, you say? You're already. This is the stupidest game. What? What? Now nah, you want to put your mask on. Uh, Alright, you're good. The music's still going! I think you're good. I think that's the fuck. Oh, no, what? What? <laughs> <laughs> well. Well. <laughs> um. Someone in chat said post shift too. What? I. 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 Oh. This game is an enigma. I forgot I, how you. Uh, you. I forgot how you get rid of the puppet. Want a bit of a research project for me, quick? Uh, 
god. And hold on. Let me go return to Freddy's classic characters. Up it. Uh, the Marion. Appearance, behavior. It starts in the party room and it will move to, to the dining area show stage where it becomes. Where it then becomes. Second time cheating. Thanks, I think it's $5. So, when are we gonna play the actual game? This is the actual game. There, this is the first the Return to Freddy's. Game. Okay, so you are supposed to put the mask on, you just didn't put it on that time. Oh! Okay. Yeah. So the second I hear the music pop the mask on? I guess, yeah. Okay. Did you like that jump scare? That was just the FNAF 2 jump scare, but in the mask. <laughs> I... I... I don't want to hear your terrible voice acting again. I you mean his caller is like, oh hello, you're at your job, but don't you have better things to do? You good, David? David? The music's back! The music's what? Where's it coming from? What? Did it stop again? Yeah! What? Check volume mixer. <laughs> what? What is going on? It's still muted. <laughs> oh. Oh. The only thing that's making me sound right now is FNAF 3, Steam, OBS, Discord, voice mod? Wait, turn that down. Is voice mod triggering? Are you... It's turned it off. Be voice mod. It could be, I it guess. Could be. It could be voice mod. Let's just continue with the game. The game broke. The game broke? Yep, I can't turn to the left. What? Hold on. Oh god. That means we're gonna have to watch the cutscene again. Absolutely. Oh my gosh. This is so scuffed. Oh, I can skip. It's so loud! This game sucks! This is the best game of all time, what do you mean? It's so bad. It's so it's All right. bad. Oh my gosh. Darren, I think with the two euros, the mimic really went insert funny jingle. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh, what is going on? <laughs> you really like the wires? Yeah. Dude, it's so good. Night one? Can we just skip to Return to Freddy's 2? This isn't even the first game. This is the prequel. Yeah, this is FNAF 3 fan made that we need to play the Return to Freddy's 1. This is the true Return to Freddy's experience. Yeah. When he said deep dive, he meant it. I... Okay. The wires have more frames than security breach. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's always Why does the power go down? <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have the same interaction that you had the first night since everything's scripted. Oh my gosh. You just be wary of the puppet getting into your office. So I could technically just. What does that mean? That means you're about to move. Is that what it means? Is that what it means? That seems stupid. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Tyler. Oh my gosh, yeah, it's scripted. It's totally scripted. Mm -hmm. There is no RNG in this game at all. If you even, if you beat even the first minute of this game, I will gift, I don't know, some amount of membership to coding this game makes it essentially impossible. That's so cool. Yeah, if we can get to night two, then I'll be impressed. I, 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 I'd, say, I'd say put the mask on uh, very soon. Like, I don't know how long it takes for that toxic meter to fill up. Gonna just chill in the office, I guess, right now? I don't I really need anything. Maybe this sends it away. Maybe if it gets in the office, it's too late. 
Oh, the top six meters working. Oh, uh, okay. I legitimately forgot how to play this one. What? What? I I don't know how to feel about this. Go away. This is peak. We might have been too late. Probably not. Oh, yeah, just keep it on. What? <laughs> Come on, we gotta at least beat night two. This is night one! Oh, wait, yeah. I don't know what that jump scare sound effect is. This game is essentially not possible. I man, there is that uh, restored one that's basically the same game, but with some of the bugs fixed. Excuse me, the mask just slows down the puppet. What? I can't. You the put the mask on a bit after he enters your office. I die. Yeah, that's misinfo. Wear the mask on. I don't mess with the cameras or doors. I can't do that because the toxic me. A bit after he enters your office. I guess. I guess I'll try that. I've got no other ideas. I uh, yeah. I might as well. Yeah, we just we just gotta kind of sit here until the scripted event happens again. So, chat, how are we? This is the true return to Freddy's gaming. What is it with the doors in this one? Like, look at the doors. They look so weird. I think they it's just the normal FNAF doors. They, they don't look right, though. There's something about them that looks yeah. off. I don't know. Maybe they're the contrast is lower, maybe? I'm not sure. Like, they don't look like they're attached to the hinges. Oh, yeah, neither the FNAF 1 door, so. Oh, really? Uh huh. Oh, well, I guess. Yeah, it's probably just the lighting then that makes it look like that. The doors think you look weird, too? It's true. I'm, I'm, I'm sitting in the corner. I'm, I'm sitting in the corner of my room playing an awful FNAF game. I look very weird right now. <laughs> How are you, David? Has this game treated you well? No, not at all. Isaac with the five dollars. If you watch videos of people playing this, those that win and lose do the exact same thing. You're literally doing exactly what you were supposed to. What? Oh, so it's just a chance. Click Freddy's nose. I wonder if it still does something. I can't. I can't. G game. There we go. Oh. It does. I, this game is weak. I. You good? I. I what? <laughs> you good, David? This game is. This game is. In, in, oh my god, I just. I just tapped back into your stream and saw your facial expression. This is. This is gameplay you sound like the phone guy in this game it's not even cool. close what i do not the other guy's talking like this oh you're you're here another another night oh that's that's cool okay uh, i oh, um yeah. uh um uh, sure. uh um gulp um don't you have a better thing to do <laughs> i'm telling you you won't beat the first night i'm starting to believe that do it um What's what's happening? What? This is this is gaming. Don't you know? This is how you play Return to Freddy's. Why is it loading? Why is my mouse? What's going on? I do not know what's going on, man. This, this is it. I feel like something should have definitely happened by now. 
maybe. Does maybe the game not. not start if I don't lift the camera? I have no idea. That'd be really funny if it did. Like, yeah, I feel like something should have most certainly happened. Like, I don't don't lift the camera. At I'm not even gonna move. I'm just. This is this is how you beat Return to Freddy's. This right here, Chad. I just don't do anything. This. I don't know if this is an actual bug or not. I completely forgot. I. Using the camera to speed up the animatronics. I don't think that's true because this entire game is scripted. The animatronics see the doors down and just start pouting their neighbor. <laughs> That's fine. Thank you for the two dollars. This is a game of get shot for unoriginality. <laughs> oh my gosh. To be the first knight, don't do anything. Are you kidding me? I, if that's actually true, that is so funny. Yeah, we're at 4 a.m. This is the furthest that we've gotten. The camera triggers the script? Is that There's the, no way. Is that the case for every night? If we get to 6 a.m. by doing nothing, that is going to be so funny. I... That's my theory. I'm starting to think the same thing. Band click a camera and see what happens. Okay, we can do that in night two. I'm really curious if that's uh -huh. true. It's almost 5 a.m. I... Nothing has happened. My power is not even going down. Yeah. It's 5 a.m. It's 5 a.m. What? I. You know, you know, you know how in FNAF 1 they said you stood completely still. You, you win. Yeah. It's true. Oh my gosh, the theories were right along. Holy. Does the mask trigger scripts? I think the camera does. Yeah, I saw someone in the chat say if we spam the cameras, then it'll trigger the script. What? It'll speed the script up. Are you which kidding is, me? Well, we'll need to test that on night two. Can we play Modern Warfare 2 while we're waiting? Yeah, 1v1. Nice, I think with the $2. Peak game design! <laughs> We're about to beat the night. Oh, uh, we. <laughs> what? And there you have it. And there you have it. We did it. Oh, cutscene. What's with the breathing? You're breathing. I can hear it so heavily. It, there's no echo to it. It's just like someone's breathing in my ear. Yeah. It's gonna I. I. <laughs> hey. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna do the same thing. No, let's. let's oh, okay. Yeah, let's test it first. Yeah. Yeah. Let's test it first. Just like. Spam, like, keep on pulling up and down the the camera and just, like, keep clicking cameras. <gasps> oh my gosh! Wait, what? No way. Oh, my God. Oh, my. Who's down for some FNAF 3 fan made speed runs? <laughs> oh. <laughs> now, chat, let's beat the game, alright? <laughs> oh my god. This is gonna be the most entertaining stream of all time. <laughs> let's listen to the phone call. 
you win by doing nothing. If this works. Hello, hello. Hey, chat, while we win the game, you want to see the dog? My dog just got back finally. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go grab her. I'll entertain the chat as we listen. So, chat, this is my favorite fan game series, and I'm not being ironic. I love. It. I actually love the Return to Freddy's. The Return to Freddy's. I have sank so much hours of my life into researching and doing the research of all the Return to Freddy's games, and this one. This one is certainly returning. We are returning to Freddy's. And that's what we do. We go there. Welcome to our Return to Freddy's podcast. I'm starting this myself. You know, Tyler started it too. I'm starting, I'm starting a podcast with Tyler's Return to Freddy's. Mr. BFP Films himself. I'm actually in The Road That Falls. I'm actually developing that one with them for the PS5. Did you know that? Did you know that Tyler is developing a new Return to Freddy's game called The Return That Not The Road That Falls and it's supposed to go up on the PS5? Hi. Look at the dog. He kind of broke the doors. It's a doggy. I don't think the doors will work on that anymore. They are more fun doggy before. It's a doggy. The doggy. Oh my god. Does your dog like the Return to Freddy's? Do you like the Return to Freddy's? She says no. I think she said yeah. <laughs> no, I think she said no. What if, what if you find out that your dog mm -hmm. developed the Return of Freddy's? Oh. Did you? Did you do this? Did you make this monstrosity? Hmm? Did you do this? Your, your dog is Tyler in disguise. <laughs> <laughs> can we get, can we get art of that? Can we get art of David's dog developing the Return of Freddy's? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Hi, you. Her name is Sky, for anyone who doesn't know. Yeah, Sky's the real the mastermind behind the Return to Freddy series. Did you make this monstrosity? Did you? Did you? Hi. I haven't seen her in like four months. Oh my god, really? Yeah, she's been having puppies. Yeah, but you're back! Yay! The dog. <laughs> it's the doggy. This is this is what you came the return to Freddy's stream for. <laughs> this is quality content right here, chat. This is quality content. Hi. I just said he also had nightmares of lockjaw. Yeah, that doesn't surprise Are me. Are you kidding me? What? That's really? <laughs> That's so stupid. Well, I mean, it's his own character, so it makes sense that he dreamed about it. I mean, Mwah. Scott had Scott tried with Bonnie and a whole bunch. That's true, I guess. But then again, Bonnie's a decent character, and Lockjaw uh, is, you know. What do you mean? Lockjaw is so funny. I love Lockjaw. Hey. You don't know who Lockjaw is? Yeah, Lockjaw is a, a self-insert by Tyler. Uh, he's he's supposed to be him. Uh, there, there's actually like four Tyler self-inserts in the Return that's of the That's crazy. There's literally a character in this game that's a kid called that, whose name is BFP. Oh my gosh. Also in the, uh, I think it's the Return of Freddy's 2, the name of the night guard is, uh, is Cotton Cots. What? Are you kidding me? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. It's, it's just Scott Cawthon backwards. Yeah, Ca Ca yeah, Conneth Cots. That's, that's Conneth Cots. Holy, what a name. They could have at least done like Cots Conneth that actually sound like an actual name. Hey, you. Cots Conneth. Shit. Conneth Cots. Hey, hi. Hey, hi. Oh, oh my god, doggy. It's a puppy. It's a puppy. It is. Puppy. It is, oh, that's it's a puppy. Wow, 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 wow. Today we are playing Return to Freddy. Puppy! Oh, yeah. oh wait, something's actually happening. Oh my here. gosh, I'm still not touching the cameras, but. Puppy! You're gonna stay here until we're done with this horrible game. I mean, I see CD Plus in this game. We'll beat this night and then we will. What was that? Just, just make sure you have your mouse ready in case you need to pull down the mask. Oh yeah. 
But I, I actually think this is the first time we're moving this entire thing so far. Warning! Scary, scary. Warning! Things. Warning! Scary! I'm bored. Can you put Family Guy on? No. <laughs> yeah. That's what, that's, what, that's what the Family Guy. I would, is. but I would get copyright striked, unfortunately. Family Guy supposed to. No, hey you. This is. But the, this this game was actually from the future. It was made to cleanse TikTok kids of their inability to pay attention to something. <laughs> nope. They I finally love, moved one when, room. I love it when Tyler said it's Tyler and time and Tyler everywhere. Right. I remember when that happened. But I'm gonna fill this video. <laughs> The UI is acting up, it's fine. Put subway surfers on, maybe she Put subway surfers on, put subway surfers on. Subway's on, please, oh please, we need subway surfers to pay attention. The trough, the trough is empty. We need more sloth for the piggies. <laughs> we need more Yay, sloth. Yay, I won, the Isaac, pay up. <laughs> the trough is empty. I mean, yeah, Isaac. Isaac did say that they'd gift up. Yep. I'm gonna go put puppy away now. Puppy needs to do other things. <laughs> now, well, we get we get to look at this incredible cutscene now, chat. This cutscene's peak. This is where Freddy. Oh, this. There's more happening. Oh, yeah, this, 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 this is the cutscene where Freddy's <laughs> gifted David Baron with five members. Oh man, Isaac, they were the five memberships. <laughs> this game is so bad. Oh my gosh. This is so bad. Holy. Oh, all right, Dags. Well, hope you enjoyed that return to Freddy's. Oh, now we need to play. No, now we need to play the real return. To True. Freddy's. Truing. That was actually awful. Wow. Test CD plus. Oh yeah, I'll do that. Oh, I'll test CD plus. To, I forgot we need to do yep. that. I'll test CD plus. I have a gal of my- oh my gosh, go away. Hi, Gaming Age. Gaming Age, hello. I have a gal of my word, even if it's required zero skill to accomplish. <laughs> it reset my progress! What? This game is so bad. This game this is, is so bad. bad. Alright, CD Plus, right? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. We need to beat it all in one sitting. Yep. Let's see if it works. You have to actually sleep. Wait, there's an actual sleep. There's an actual I don't think it works. It's all at the same time, right? Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't work. Okay. Yeah, no, it doesn't work. That's, that doesn't surprise me. It doesn't use the exact same code. <laughs> oh, man. Do we use cameras at all and the AI won't run in this version? That's so goofy. That's so goofy. It is very goofy. That's crazy. All right, chat. Well, that was the return to Freddy's original, the prequel. It's... Do you remember hmm? when there is that Balloon Boy FNAF 3 teaser and people thought that CD Plus was etched into Balloon Boy? Vaguely? I think I do. <laughs> That was yeah, really funny. What game was it for? FNAF 3. FNAF 3. Oh, yeah, no, I, don't, I don't think I remember that. Well, Can we play the game below play. FNAF and above FNAF 2? No. We cannot. With CD Plus, in the original FNAF game, it skips a night. I... Austin, I'm pretty sure that was on purpose to make fun of the people that use it. I don't think... 
I don't think Scott was that self aware. I, I I didn't even know about CD Plus until the Go Motion video like two years ago. So I don't know how popular the uh, discovery of that was. You coded and stolen like how to just use YouTube tutorials. Fair enough. CD Plus, you have to also put the cursor on Freddy's po on Freddy poster nose. Wait, seriously? No way. That's that. That that's the in misinfo. Yeah, no, no way. All right, it's time for the first official entry in the series, the return to Freddy. You ready? <laughs> it's the same game. Are you gonna screen share it? Yeah. Same game. It's the return to Freddy's. It's the same game. It's the return to Freddy's. We're returning to it. I'm returning. It's the same game minus sugar. Oh, really? Yeah. Should we just not touch the cams again? I think they fixed that. This one. Oh my! This. Yeah, the doors don't do anything. Wait, flashlight. Uh, what is it? Let me try it. Flashlight? They didn't fix it. They didn't fix it. They didn't fix, oh, it. They didn't fix it. Oh no. Okay, well, when, when it gets into the office, let's see. Okay, uh, let's see if it fixed that. Speed up a little bit. Or actually, no, I think it was. Uh, yeah, I don't think it was triggered yet. I. It's. The talk speed is not going up. Yeah. It's not going up. Oh. Each game. This game is so, so good. Alright, yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's see if we're good now. I'm gonna die. Watch. Yeah. Probably. Oh, no. Bang! Now! Now! Yep. <laughs> well, I mean, while we're playing this one, we could see if the CD plus on Freddy's nose is true. It's also extremely loud. I'll say that really quick. Hold on. This game has no audio balancing. Oh my gosh. I... I don't... <sighs> Did the stream crash? The game just went. What happened? I don't know. The game just went gone. Bye. I think. Did, did, did you get a satisfactory experience from both FNAF 3 Fan Made and Return to Freddy's? This game is so bad. It's so bad. It's. It's so bad. Makes you feel any better? The second game is an actual game. Thank goodness. Well, we know that it's this, it's the same game. I'm not even gonna play that. It's the exact same game. That's same game. stupid. It's, it's the same game with a removed character. That's so stupid. What? And like the added visual effect that the doors are broken. I don't. I. All right. It's time for. Return to Freddy's 2. I I can't. I can't. I actually can't. Well, we spent about an hour doing that. Play this with the same amount of time you you played Hello Neighbor 2 or replay Hello Neighbor 2. I would replay Hello Neighbor 2. At least I know how that game works and I could get through it. Hello, Ran. We're doing uh, Return to Freddy's Gaming. All right. This is causing David to go insane. David. This is unironically my favorite 
FNAF fan game series. What is wrong with you? It's so funny. It's, it is so funny. This is just... This is... This is actual nightmare. Nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. Oh my nightmare. gosh, what is that? That's Kitty Fast Cat. Who? Kitty Fast Cat. Is this candy? Is that candy? That's sugar. They pitch it down? Okay. <laughs> oh. Look, look at him! Look oh at him. my... Gulp? It's... <laughs> Gulp? <laughs> Are you ready? Oh! Are you ready? Bro had custom music made for this. This isn't music, this is a reverse track. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Sigrid Wait, Rodriguez. This is a FNAF 2 music re reverse. Yeah. Uh, you, paid, you paid someone to do this, presumably. There's actually something kind of eerie about this title screen. No, there isn't. It, there kind of is. No. Like He's got the, the cheekiest one. little look there. Look at that when he glitches out. <laughs> yeah. Look at that cheeky little smirk. Where is it? Do it again. Do it again, coward. Do a cheeky little grin. There it is. <laughs> You're right. Do you go, eh, eh? I love this guy. Well, first night. This game kind of has the same effect that Dormitivus has on me. Where it's what is scary. this? But it's just like so absurd. I, th I don't think I don't think I'm checking. Okay, doesn't seem like it. Okay. All right, good. We actually can play the video game. Yeah. Okay, we can actually play the game. Robbery's normal. Okay. Oh, look at that map shaking Oh my gosh. It's not rendered properly. Why is... Why is the fan made of pizza? <laughs> what is that? What's up? The... What? Oh my gosh. There's two things to wind. There's two things to wind. How about you get a basic power grid? Now to welcome you to this, to this job, we gave you an empty Freddy head, but during development of the building, I think some dust and other toxic type things may have gotten into it. So I don't think it's a good idea to wear. Then clean it! Well, mm -hmm. I think mean, that's it. You should be golden. Check the What? Make sure nobody gets you should in. be golden. Yeah, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Holy Dormitibus textures, dude. Yeah. Actual Dormitibus. Nice. Actual Dormitibus core. This is Dormitibus core. It's like a mix between ro like early Roblox and Dormitibus. What is that? Why? This is pitch down Freddy Circus. Yeah. This but is such a what a goober this, game. The cameras in this work basically the same as they do in candies. I I hate this so much. Would you take your child to this establishment? D -d totally. Oh, Freddy's gone. Where? Oh, there's the absolute chonk lord. He's Holy. Returning. Freddy's He's returning. returning. Oh my gosh, guys. So apparently this game is supposed to take place in Fredbear's. From what I remember. Really? Yeah, so this is a Fredbear game. I... <sighs> okay. What? What happened? What happened? Nothing there's a, happened. There's... Okay, so... David. What? This is my favorite FNAF fan game of all time. Yeah, you... Not, that's a not, problem. No, no, no. Not, not, not in the way you think, though. Uh, there, there's a remake of this game called Winter Wonderland. Oh, I've just, heard of that. 
which I genuinely think is a really good FNAF fan game. So you can huh. say that. So you can technically say that the Return to Freddy's 2 is my favorite FNAF fan game of all time. This is so. This is so stupid. This is legacy. This is so stupid. Do I need to do that? That feels like something I should do. What? Why does it keep buzzing? Why? Ow. Oh my. Where's Freddy? He's, He's not. Here. Okay. What? What? He's going. He's going off. I. Huh? <laughs> Stop buzzing! Buzz. So also uh, those two things on the right of your uh, the left and right of your openings. I uh, you yeah yeah I saw the hallways yeah I. Do you like how this place is laid out? This is so bad. The layout I, of this game makes perfect sense. Uh, this is actually the worst. Best. This is. Oh my gosh. I think multiple animals are to be seen at once. That's crazy. That's actually crazy. That's just the FNAF 2 render. So they did rip assets. Yeah, they uh, they ripped a lot of assets and sound effects. Well, you can see that the terminal is basically the exact same. Yeah. I... Oh my gosh. Oh my. Okay. I, ju I just noticed the blue. Do you, do you see the blue one? The what one? At, at the top of, at the top of your screen on one of the cameras. Oh, the what is that? What is that? What is that? What does that mean? What is that doing? I think that's for sugar, actually. Uh, to send, to like send the newer models of animatronics back, I think you need to find where they are in the cameras and then activate that. These guys look newer than Sugar the Cat. I. Oh. This is. Nothing has happened. Nothing has happened. Oh, it's for Doug. Yeah, it's for Doug the dog. Doug the dog? Yeah. Nothing's happening. Nothing is happening. This is... What do you mean? We're returning to Freddy's. Yeah, we returned all right. Returned to what? Freddy's. Returned to AFKing all night? You're not AFK. You're winding two music boxes. I... <laughs> I love the fact that that this is literally the duality of man. There, there, there's Phil Fisnam who thought that one music box was too much and removed it from his FNAF 2 fan made. And then there's Tyler who didn't think one music box was enough. I. I. What are you gonna say? What garbage are you gonna spew at me now? What's it gonna be? Come on, let's uh, hear it. Hello. Hi, hello. hi. Uh, yeah, so your first night would be a problem. Oh my gosh, shut I up. You have noticed the music box in one of the party rooms. That is brand new. They just moved into the building three days ago. That is a replacement for the gift giving animatronics that we used to have here. He kept the kids happy until one day a kid came and tore them apart. But he was <laughs> stored in the basement, so he shouldn't be able to wander around. And the part that scared me about the puppet thing. Oh yeah? He can go anywhere. Oh. To prevent, so, so to prevent that. Yo, to to get, 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 get a script, dude. Hold on for, uh, about a few seconds. It's about. Uh, 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 really strange lately. Uh, the CEO was soon able to glitch in the system. Uh, they don't know how badly the glitch is or what it can exactly cause yet. It's a glitch. Figure it out. Oh my. I'll update you whenever they find out. The don't dumbest. Dumbest phone call. Huh? The yellow switches to a brown one, and the yellow suit happens to be running the storage space. 
Really? Really? Uh, I'll be honest. I, I think the CEO has OCD or something. Uh, <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, I want to go back to work. Uh, what does having OCD have to do with this? He has OCD. This is. This is incredible. This is. What? 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 Are you over here? Yes, of course you are. I. I. Okay. Are you actually moving? Probably not. Dex, how? How do you? How? How? How do you? I don't get it. I don't get it. How do you how do you like this game? I don't. I love it. <laughs> I love everything that the Return to Freddy stands for. It's so funny. Is something gonna happen? It's 2 a.m. Are they on the sides of the room? No. Is there any gameplay? No. I... Stop doing that. Nothing's happening. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I... What do you want to stop? I... Okay. Have you moved? Of course you haven't. Am I... What am I thinking? Gameplay in my Five Nights at Freddy's or my Return to Freddy's game? No. No, 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 no. What do you mean? This is peak gameplay. This game is nothing. This game is a box of nothing filled with nothing. What do you mean? You get to wind two music boxes. Nothing's happening. It's 3 a.m. They went to the little spots and they're happy. They're sitting there. Flash your battery even go down? I, I think it does. I think I saw it go down one by the end of the night. I think? Maybe? Oh, wow. More scary music, guys. Oh, finally. Something happened! Yeah, something happened. <laughs> he got you. He got you, David. Yeah. Yeah, he got me. Did you like that jump scare? So... I... That... I don't have Are any you? words. What? I don't... What? Come on. I don't have any words for that. That was... What do you mean, man? We're returning to Freddy's. I don't want to return to Freddy's. This is the worst return ever. This is... <laughs> I hate this so much. The FNAF, Funnies, the FNAF Funnies Twitter account just sent me a picture of Phantom Lockjaw. <laughs> Phantom Lockjaw. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Hi. Oh. Return to Freddy's 3. I'm gonna go to Return to Freddy's 3. That was so stupid. You're really stopping Return to Freddy's 2 that quickly? Yes. That is the dumbest game ever. Oh my. But it's real. It's real. I don't care if it's real. I want to play a video game. That, that you were playing the best of it. Okay, David, David, David. You you're stranded. You're stranded on a deserted island, right? Mm -hmm. You don't know. Be there. You got. You got. You got. You got. Don't. The only entertainment you have is the Return to Freddy's Two. That, I would jump in the water and try to swim home. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. That's not worth it. That's not worth it. Okay, but 
If you 100% in the Return of Freddy's 2, you get to go home. Yeah, no, same thing. You, you try to swim home. Yep, I would try to say, yep, absolutely. What is that yes. thing? Is that Phantom Lockjaw? Phantom Lockjaw. Self insert jump scare. Bah! Hi. Oh, well, yeah, no, it's normal Lockjaw. He just, he just looks green. I don't even know who this guy is. Lockjaw is AKA Frank Bird. Is this Frank Lockjaw. Bert? Yeah, that's his name. Fazbear Fantasyland, a new entertainment is close to opening its doors. It will show and reveal the legend from the past. They only have a few more things to sell it for it officially. That is the worst <laughs> newspaper writing I've ever seen in my life. It'll, it'll reveal a legend from the past. It's the legendary animatronic that hugs four kids to death. And then, and then animatronics get outlawed by the government for 14 years, I think. What? Yeah. After after there's an incident on another Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, the government outlaws animatronics. Why is this game why why is it spinning so much? This room doesn't make any sense. It's it's a circle room. This room is overlapping hey, itself. Hey Blake, how's it going? Ew. Uh, you're probably wondering why we called you to help us out with this job. Well, what? Things get pretty heavy over here. What? We're pretty much what? Back from the dead. <laughs> you remember that place? <laughs> uh, anyways, <laughs> I'm so funny. We're going to wait, Zombie Wars SMT was the phone guy? Land. You know, no, wait. I completely forgot about that detail. Who? Oh my. You don't know who Zombie Wars SMT is? It sounds vaguely familiar? They were a. FNAF YouTuber back in like the from like 2014 to 2016 I'd say and then they like then they transitioned their content to doing like Minecraft uh, secret pocket edition portal Teen Titans Go Dimension oh uh, and then uh, and that's that's what they did for a really long time uh, <laughs> I, I just I find it really funny because when I when they started uh, transitioning their content to be like oh yeah they also literally transitioned I should also make that clear um, when when she was making uh, her content more centered around like Minecraft clickbait I made a Zombie Wars SMT rant video oh and it still what? it still exists out there and I showed it on a posture stream before oh my gosh. But, uh, it was, it was the first time I've ever recorded anything. So, and you can tell that my voice hasn't changed in seven years, which is really funny. But, so, so if you've been on the YouTube, if you've been in the FNAF community for a while, you probably know the YouTuber, Zombie Wars SMT. <laughs> yeah, some people's voices never change, yeah. That is, that is very, very funny. I, I f completely forgot that they were the uh, voice actor in this game. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's used in the Return to Freddy's 5 for Goldie Paradiner mode. I don't know what any of those words mean. Goldie Paradiner was the first What does this mean? Location. Corrupt signal. What does this Goldie do? Par Goldie Paradiner was the first location Allison uh, opened after he got 90% immortality after raiding the Japanese super cancer researching facility. What did I do? I corrupted the signal. What, I turned it 5G off? What was that? One, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I don't know what that. Oh. Goodbye. Is, is that Shadow Lockjaw? Is that an Easter egg? What the? Goodbye? I don't. Okay then. Okay. <laughs> sure. I think that's really rare. He'll crash your game. Okay, yeah, that's a very rare Easter egg. Good job, David. You got shadow uh, locked. Uh, 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 uh. View animatronic. What does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? Who? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Door lock? Yeah, 
I, I completely forgot how you play this one, David. I'm sorry. I haven't played this game in three years. Uh, are these buttons? Where's my door? What door, door am I locking? The ones on the map. Oh! Oh! Doesn't it make perfect sense? What? Door! I... Okay. Okay. The map layout's still confusing. Don't me. look right! So look, keep looking this way. Uh, okay, you're you're wrong about the return of Freddy's William Afton raiding a Japanese uh, facility. So there is no William Afton in the Return to Freddy store. Purple guy's name is Vincent, and uh, his boss Allison is the one that raids the Gilbert facility. That's Sad. In Japan, 1940s. What is up here? What is? Oh yeah, um, the main antagonist of this game, Allison. Uh, was like actively like almost 40 years old in the 1940s and lives until 2035. Oh, that makes so much sense. It's because, okay, he drank, uh, you, you wanna know why? What? He found, he found a bottle called 90% immortality and he drank half of it. Huh? Yeah. How could you have 90% of infinity? <laughs> it's 90% immortality. That's why they're able to kill him at the end. You, you want to know how Allison dies? How? How does Allison die? Uh, the police raid his animatronic strip club and the police shoot him. Oh, really? Yeah. Seal the door, I guess? Okay. This is meant to be, this is meant to be taken completely seriously, too. Yeah, there, there's a... He found the Gibanium. This is like proto day shift at Freddy's lore, but it's actually meant to be taken seriously. You doing all right? What? What? You did it! Yay! You did it, David. I, I, uh. What, what am I? What are you? Oh yeah, I think, I think we should play this one to completion for the mini games. I don't know if I can handle that. I don't even know how to play the game. I'm an utter shock. I knew these were bad, but not this bad. This is awesome. What do you mean? What do I do? You walk around. That's... You like Foxy, you like Foxy in his beak? This is the most uninteresting garbage I've ever seen. What do you mean? You're, you're Shadow Lockjaw. That's what I am? Yeah. I think you gotta possess one. The soap bar cutscene is so good. Yeah, we need to play it. Is 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 the soap bar cutscene in this game or is that in the Return to Freddy's Four? I can't remember. From the dark, it's looking kind of good right now. Everything's looking good right now. Hello, neighbors, looking good right now. No, don't say that. I'm gonna say that. Full chest. I'm saying that. Okay, soap bar is Return to Freddy's. What is 4. this? Why can't I see? Are you joking? Game, are you kidding me? What? I. <laughs> There's six lock jaws. What? No, that's the end. What? That's the end, don't go, huh? That's the night five mini game. I've gone everywhere. What do I do? I think you need to interact with uh, the uh, pink animatronic kitty fast guy. Hey, are you having fun yet? 
I... I have no words. Okay? Yeah. Initializing. What does that mean? When is... It's loading. It's a fancy word for loading. So how do I play the game? Um, what? you do. You might want to listen to the phone call. I... <laughs> Hello. Oh, hey Blake. We just boarded the former Yeah, there's a different uh, person on the phone calls every single night. Okay, I hear this. John and I went to a play to check for some signs, so we just activated to see if it's working or not. They did? I... I'm trying to listen to the phone call right now. I can barely tell what he's saying. Me, yeah, I'm trying to figure it out. He may be signing a tonic to check. He doesn't really look like he takes on drinks. Yeah, we'll update you when we find out. Yeah, that made sense. Good night. <laughs> His mic quality was so bad. Yeah, it's not good. What do I do? What? Do... Hi? Oh, Bye? If the office fades to black for one second, that means Chica is in the left hallway, so use the corrupt single signal. Okay. Blocks may actually be more of a return to Freddy set than me. I, I am. This is incredible. Like shout, shout out blocks in the chat. That, this is not a, this is not a flex. It's not a good thing. Obsessed with something normal. <laughs> no. The return to Freddy's is peak. This, this is just for any left hallway animatronic. Okay, you're in this room. Should I seal it now? I think if there's like a fade to black, that means to do the seal. Why does it air out immediately? What? Yeah, don't, don't keep the doors locked. I can't keep it locked for more than two seconds! Uh-oh. Door lock system. Don't I think with a five-year-old five listen to phone calls? Spooky ch crying child on MB3 in the background. True. <laughs> Do I need to keep doing this? If Kitty Fast Cat leaves Cam 02, immediately turn off the lights. What? What's happening? Oh my gosh. Turn off the lights? How? Is it that? Do I click that? I assume so. Yeah. Kitty uh, Faz Cat. Which? Who you? Cam, Cam what was two. that? I saw oh. that. Yeah, I saw that too. Uh oh. Uh, what do we? What do we do? What do we do about Foxy? Um, Hi. Hello. Corrupt signal. Oh, okay. Okay, corrupt signal. Oh. Did you get jump scared? Yep. <laughs> I... Are you having fun yet? Foxy just walked around me. What was that? I saw him just walk around me. He's real. He was so real for that one. Kitty Fast Cat is a self-answer for Tyler's ex. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, I forgot to say that. Uh, so it, Tyler has also been on record saying that Kitty Fast Cat is his least favorite animatronic. Spooky child crying. You want to know who his most hated animatronic is? Sugar? No. Oh, Lockjaw? Uh, yeah. Yep. The self-insert. Uh, I've I've done deep dives twice before, and the games have not been good. 
but this is a game that has actually made me mad at how there, bad there, it is. A, there's a very funny thing that I need to tell you off stream uh, about the Return to Freddy's and Tyler. That's that concerning. I, well, no, it's 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 something. It, it's something like that's kind of funny. I just don't want to repeat it on in public because I don't know how the people involved would deal with me putting out this information. It's not bad information, by the way. It's just like I, I need to check in. But it's a really, it's a, something that's really funny that happened. Huh. Okay. This is a. This is so. Okay, so office fades to black, corrupt signal. If I see Foxy corrupt signal, what about the doors? How do these things work? Stooky Kitty Fast Cat originally makes Sonic.exe OCs now and also and is also trying to claim ownership of past Return to Freddy's character. Why would you want ownership? That is so funny. Why would you want this? What do you mean I'd like to own Return to Freddy's? You know, you know, you know what I'd do? You know what I'd do as the head owner of What would you do? I'd, I'd return. Base. Base. Hi? What are you? Is that Foxy? It'd be so funny to take the ownership of Blackjaw out of Tyler's grubby little hands. I, you're not gonna be able to do that. There's no copyright to buy. I mean, he'd incessantly whine about it. I, what are these characters? Is that Freddy? Yeah. Okay. That's Freddy. Okay, cool. Who are His you? Modeling has at least gotten better since the Return to Freddy's 2. Who are you? I can't tell who that is. I. Hey, check. Go back to Cam 2. Uh. I don't see a kitty fast cat there. What do I need to do about kitty fast cat again? Uh, you need to turn the lights off. Okay. Sure. He is on the first floor. Foxy is on the second. Oh, okay. One of these Bag is Foxy? What? Okay, you're there. I'm gonna... I don't... Okay. Dax, how is this your obsession like of all franchises, this one? You don't get it. You just don't get it. I... This is... This is actually wild. Foxy and Freddy... Are okay, fine. that worked. Did it? Yeah, it did something. Oh, we're, we're learning. We're learning, David. What do these doors do? They function. Close the door. No, that. Yeah, I want to restart that. These doors do nothing. Yeah. <gasps> Bro, I died on night 1, 12 a.m. on the return to Freddy's 4. Oh my god, I'm so excited to play that. What do I do? What do Emma, I- Best Hi! Jesus, Cam's really... Okay, so if she, if she, if she There's... shows up on Camo 2 and then leaves it, that means turn the lights off. Is that her? Uh, let's see. Um, it just is gone. Wait, hold lights on. off. I guess yeah. There. Oh, it took five years. Huh? I think that works. How do lights work? They just do. Space? Something? Oh. 
You want to move on to four? <laughs> what? Can you take any more of this, David? <gasps> oh my. Oops, the light mechanic is not the same as the legendary edition. The legend. The what? The legendary edition. You don't know about it? Was there a collector's edition of Return to Freddy's? The lockjaw figurine? Uh, it's 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 like it's like a remaster. I. I would I would pay hey, so much money for the lockjaw figurine. Hey David, how would you feel when we animate some of these clips? I need some things to animate. I figured you'd be a good candidate to watch. Kind of like, yeah, go for it. That'd be really cool to see. Go for it. I want to see him. I want to see him be animated alongside Lockjaw and Gron. I, who is Gron? Uh, Gron's the green purple guy, self insert, who slips on a bar of soap into a spring lock animatronic. Gron. Pull up the cutscene where he slips on a bar of soap. Uh, can I find a return to Freddy's? I. Why is his arm protruding from his shoulder? Huh? His arm is protruding from his shoulder. Yeah, that's Garan. I. What? What? That's Garan for you. Uh... I... That... Here, one uh, is a bar of soap and one is Springlock himself in the book? The... wait, the book? Oh yeah, there's a novel. Uh, do you want to- do you want to see the cutscene where Gron, uh, Springlocks himself of a bar of soap? Sure. Okay, it's at the very end of this video. I'm sending it to you in your DMs. I, it's ill. It's I loot him X. Oh my gosh! Ow! All right. I. Ah. Yeah. How 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 did you guys forget about the Return to Freddy's The Dreadful Truth? At the very end, you said right here. It's it's the it's the death mini game. This right here. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, I said it was two dollars. Okay, hear me out. Grant, no. Is this sped up? This feels sped up. It's not. This is just your movement speed in this mini game. You see that kid that he's torturing? That's BFP. <laughs> <laughs> what is? Okay. Oh, yeah, run that back. Run that back. Are you kidding me? Yeah, that's how it happens. Are you And he slips into the suit? Yeah, I wasn't kidding. This this has to be satire. This has to be satire. No, this is this, this is serious. There's no way. There's no way someone could take a story of a guy slipping on a bar of soap and landing perfectly in a spring lock suit. It's like this this is meant to be taken seriously. Somehow I never questioned this as a thirteen year old. I. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh my gosh! It's. What? There's a. It's actually a book. Yeah. Where can I? Where do you find it? Is it even released? Is it an ebook? It's a .txt file on a Game Jolt page. It's a text <laughs> file. Good. Yeah. It's called The Return to Freddy's The Dreadful Truth. That's why they go to $2. Hang on, let Isaac cook. <laughs> 
No. No. Yeah, uh, Lockjaw Child? Are we, are we just deep diving into the wiki now? Yeah. BFP. Also, okay, so this is the kid in that ghost child mm. who was murdered, reincarnated in the Frank Burt suit? What? Lockjaw, yeah. real name Frank. He's a major character in the TRTF saga and responsible for the animatronic malfunction in Return to Freddy's classic. pre child with fair white skin and black color eyes. Okay. He's a Redditor. Okay, cool. Reddit mod, Discord mod, whatever. He feels like the gameplay is unseenly. He unseenly controls all the animatronics in a way to communicate with Mike Schmidt so we can free him from an inescapable curse. What? 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 Wait, 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 all right, Kitty Fazcat is a is a female showbiz and gift giving animatronic cat at fr uh pure exact with the two two uh blah, blah, blah. thank you for the two euros. You deep dive the entire wiki. That's pretty much what we're gonna end up doing probably. Turn to Freddy's two. Kitty usually tends to have more personality than other animatronic. As her, yeah, she's gonna need it as her main priority is climbing over things such as the office vent. Rest by BFP was responsible for the animatronic's aggressive behavior during the night due to his fury. And not being able to find someone to free it. <laughs> Let's go to the trivia. <sighs> Kitty Fazcat is Tyler Alstrom's least favorite character, most likely due to the ex girlfriend being the original. <laughs> oh my gosh. Kitty Fazcat and Sugar actually share the same base model. Shocker. The only difference being the colors and some other small accessories. Kitty Fazcat and Doug's jump scares rarely render when they're meant. To Are you kidding? <laughs> Alfred's in the second game. If you look at the game files. There's a file of Fitty, Fitty Kaz Fat. Nice. I can talk. Kitty Fazcat in the party room two, the main hall, same time West Hall, ceiling vent, office hallway. Her design is very different from her final build. She likes her hat and cane and her bow ties okay. on top okay. of her head. Go to, the, go, to the, go to the search at the top right. And then look up Frank Burt's. I can probably just find it down here. Oh. Uh, yeah, well, probably in here somewhere, it, it, right? It's a, it's a, it, no, it's a location. It's a location. Frank Burt's a location? Yeah. I, is, there, is there a location stat? Uh, I think there is. Oh, yeah, there is at the top. Oh. I, li I like the very, very top. Oh, very, very top? Yeah, no, no, now now it's gone. It's, it's, it's a tab. Oh. Yeah, two locations. What the... Oh, yeah. Kitty Fast gets a tall magenta. Okay, we have it. Well, like, it started at the show stage with two poles. Run from Frank, but it's nice. You have to reach for play. Turn this. This is like attack will place perfect. Okay, click on, click on the Frank Burt's uh... strip club. I told you. I, Gilbert Facility, Fazbear Inc., Goldie Para Diner, Frank Burt's Pizza, Frank Burt's Family Diner, Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, Fazbear Fantasyland, Freddy Fazzy Fun Time! <laughs> I need to, I want to know how these they work. I want to know how they work. Return to Freddy's 3. Okay. Characters. How do any of these characters work? Are you kidding me? It, no. Here. Okay. So from night 2 onwards, Lockjaw will start in Cam 10, which proceed to Cam 9, going to Cam 8, Cam 6, Cam 5, Cam 3, and finally Cam 2. 
After that, Lockjaw will proceed to quickly run through Blake's office for jumpscare the player. This is Lockjaw. The player must lock the doors. I see through the cameras. Clear to lose track. Lockjaw uh, lock is luckily hooked up to a view and truck function signal panel. There's no where he is. However, Lockjaw's already in the player's office. It can't be done. But the door is only locked for like two seconds. Lol. <laughs> it's him. I That's Emil Nako. Check Discord? Okay. What? Who'd you send me? Oh my <clears throat> gosh. <laughs> yeah. Legendary animatronic kills six young children. This is what outlawed uh, animatronics for 14 years by the government. Assassin, thank you for the one month. Let's just play Post Shift 2. It will be easier. I I wish I could play Post Shift 2, but it doesn't run on my computer. I will. Long, long forgotten. <laughs> <sighs> long forgotten. Yeah, probably for better. This is, this is such a rabbit hole. Dude. <laughs> Off stream, we need to do a whole deep dive of the wiki. Tortured? What? Oh, yeah, the yeah the tortured animatronic. Wendy thing. Hall Gilbert. Uh, look at look at the torture device. Where's that? Oh. It's one of the tortured animatronics. Torture device is a sinister idol created by Allison for his enslaved employees to worship as a god while it was still being constructed. It was going to be used as a trigger for the ending of Return to Freddy's 5 story mode. Pro story mode? Are you kidding me? Torture device yeah, resembles a cross between a human and his namesake. A torture... What does a torture device look like? That. Obviously. Uh, but yeah, the... And this is this was built for the Freddy Fazbear slave ring that was uh, on the inside walls of the Freddy Fazbear's establishment. That... Uh, if Allison didn't like the employee that was working that day, he'd enclose behind the walls never to be seen again, and they'd be working for him inside the walls, and they would worship the torture device. Dex? Yeah? How many hours have you spent on this wiki? I spent a whole day on this wiki before. <sighs> okay. Skin is presumably a rusty metal of sorts. In its original design for Teaser Game 3, its skin resembles snake skin. Its head resembles a head of tortured lockjaw with a suit head reminds of Carson. <sighs> what? What? <laughs> what? The prophecy? Oh, yeah, the prophecy. Uh, the prophecy is like the entire uh, plot of the game. Oh yeah, um if you don't if you don't enter the torture device at the end of the Return to Freddy's 5 demo, the animatronics get out of the facility that they were in and cause the apocalypse. <laughs> and I thought the Fazbear Frights books were bad. Oh This is peak. This is peak. What do you mean? Blushies in Manhattan. Oh my gosh, this is... Oh. Okay, well... That... That was cool. I guess. Are we, not, are we not looking at the wiki anymore? I... Let's, let's go to the fourth game. Let's just go to the fourth game. Go on to the fourth let's just, game? Let's just go to the fourth game. Let's just go to the fourth game. Okay. We're gonna go to the fourth game. Okay, we can go to the fourth game. Gonna go game. to the fourth game. They downgraded. They downgraded. Are you... What? They downgraded 
The stupid, the stupid, stupid, the stupid, the stupid. Do you like how when you launch? Do you like how when you launch it, it starts a dedicated to my love kitty fast cat. <laughs> What is this? What? <laughs> I need to- I'm gonna stream this to you. You can- You can- Yeah. Uh, I... <laughs> the resolution went down between 3 and 4. To be fair, the resolution went at 3 and 4 too. Ow! What is this? It's the cutscene. Actually, cr actual crunch. <laughs> Holy crispy crunch looking game. <sighs> Special thanks to Zombie Wars SMT and the Return to Freddy's fan base, dude. <laughs> What's that, that noise? That's the new game and mode game. I... Are you ready? No! Dag's got that Seth Rogen laugh. I don't sound like Seth Rogen at all. I don't hear that. Why did no, my... It, it, it's no Wait. copyright. Please listen to it. Why did my background just disappear? What happened? Why did my overlay go? Where did my overlay go? What happened to it? What? My over- my stream overlay went- is gone. Your stream overlay is gone? Yeah, it- Hello? Where'd it go? Oh, did I move it back accident? I might have moved it back accident. I moved it, okay, I moved, I moved it, okay. We're good, okay. Okay. I- Alright. Here we go, chat. New game. Reviving what's left. About 15 years ago, the last half of the pizza was demolished due to an incident with Rorus Finest and Edmund killing sex. He couldn't discover the child's body and said the studio government decided to make Amtrak legal again to give you one. I saw the attraction called Freddy Fazzy Fun Time. $400 a week. That's insane. I'll be, I'll be right back. All right. So you get to experience the first of this a bit alone. I'll be right back. Then. Hold on. What? The, okay. At least we're not spinning. All right. I. Okay. Hey. It's been a while. Fifteen years ago, when the incident with the children and the body inside of Frankfurt, we had no choice but to shut down. Now they gave us one last shot at this. We need to bring it back, not just for us, but for the children to at least have a place of happiness. What? And yet again, this place is a dump. This is the last location we. What do we week doesn't really? Is it ten dollars an hour? Really? Oh, look, seem like more. Okay, never mind. Whoa. Don't go to Frankfurt's. Don't go to Frankfurt's. Don't go there. Don't. Oh, he's it's, he's gone. He's gone. Stupid! Stupid! Hee hee! You can't see me! You can't see me! Hee hee! You can't see me! What does that do? What? 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 I... You're laughing now, but watch out. Bonnie's gonna mess you up and I'm not joking. What does that mean? Mess me up. This game is a fever dream. This game isn't real. The original ticking, oh no. I... What? 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 
Okay, someone's about to show up, I guess. What do I do? Who do I do who to? Who do I huh? Okay, what'd that mean? What'd that do? You can feel like a moment you like to think it's fake but ends up being real? True. What? I don't know. Dex isn't here right now. That. He's lever to your right? Okay. Got it. Hey, Blake. Hey. Hey. It's been a while. 15 years Shut up. Never speak again. Thank you. Think you're losing your sanity by the minute? I am! This game is horrendous. This is demonic. <laughs> what are the levers for? This one apparently charges power, I assume. And this one's apparently for gassing lockjaw. I don't know. I never deploy steam flock to doesn't see you. That's that's just for power, I guess. That's what I assume, yeah. For this or guard in a ban ban? At least guard in a ban ban is like a game that makes a hint of sense gameplay wise. And isn't this the most stupid stupidness of all stupid time? This is awful. This is the worst. This is actually the worst. This is this this hurts. What are you? Why are you just standing there? Why are you giving me that? Why are you giving me the the light skin stare? What's 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 going on? What 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 what? what? Huh? This is so stupid. This is so stupid. This is... Oh, this isn't the last one. Oh, this is not the last one. Oh, no, no, no. Are you here? Okay, no, you're not. Okay. Oh, you the characters. I'll pop up in the vent in the left. Oh, okay. I guess. Wait, what are we on? The Return of Freddy's 4. Actual, like, nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. Good? All right, I assume it's good. Dick, 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 dick. It's not Phil's quote. That's from Eric Andre show. Dick, dick, tick, 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 t
This is stupid. All right, Captain Castaway, later. The game's good yet? Nope. Actual nightmare run. Actual nightmare run. This is actually insane. I think I got it. Okay. Peel lock just endo like Elmer glue off my fingers. <laughs> this piece of fire unreleased the tro. <sighs> oh great, the mini game. Oh, oh good, what I've, what I've always wanted. For TRTF5 Unreal Engine, they use TRTF3 Lockjaw and some of his suit is purple. We couldn't find TRTF5, unfortunately. We, we couldn't find it. We tried to find it, but we couldn't. Games are in the saga. So, there's Five Minutes of Freddy's 3 fan made. Return to Freddy, which is the same game, essentially. So, what a half. Return to Freddy's 2, Return to Freddy's 3, Return to Freddy's 4. Seven teaser games, Return to Freddy's 5. So we're at nine so far, nine and a half. Return to Freddy's Desolation and Rastla or something. That's like 11 and a half games. We're not playing all of them. We, don't, we couldn't find any of the FNAF 5 teasers, unfortunately. But... Yeah, seven teaser games. And Frank Bird, so yeah, 12 and a half. <sighs> what? I am back. Welcome back. This is an awful game. Is it? Tick, 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 tick. That's a whole night. <clears throat> yeah. Sorry for taking so long. No worries. Pizza came. No worries. Right, I'll buy some pizza. I'll be, I'll be co cope a little bit with this game. I'll mail you one. Thank you. I'll mail you a slice of mine that I bought. Yeah. I. This game. This game. This. This game. Why is there a child? No, I don't want to kill the child. Oh, okay. You killed the child. I killed the child. Oh boy. Are you ready? I see a billion dollars. Are, are you ready for this, Dex? I'm always ready. Do you like the camera in this game? I can't see a thing on it. Frankfurt's Pizza. Frankfurt's uh, Pizza. 
Stripper pizza. Yeah. Do you like ticking? I love it. Do you know how to play this one? Nope. I would hide in I would hide in the locker behind you if it ever stopped if he or they ever stopped by. Uh he they're not so Dude, figure it out. But uh here's some can't believe they did this all in one take. They did? Yeah. Oh my god. No shit. These recordings are from the 40s. Playing the game. This is this is peak, guys. I love I love this gameplay. Look at him go. <laughs> Look at him go. actually cannot with this game. This is the best game on the list. <sighs> Honestly, I'd say the Return to Freddy's 2 is the best out of all of these. No way. Yeah. No way. I mean, it's, it's the easiest to understand. Okay, I guess fair enough. It was pretty simple, but that was so bad too. Better than this. Yeah, I guess so. Only thing this one has going for it is that it has better models. Oh my god, look at him. It's the guy. Why does it sound like Gary's eyes bonking together in the one SpongeBob Super House filled with jellyfish? True! True! Oh my god, you're right. I. <laughs> yeah, I hear it. Oh now. my gosh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> oh my god, that's how they go to the five dollars. Gary's eyes bonking together in that one SpongeBob episode where his house gets filled with jellyfish. I think the beeping is at 195 to 200 beats per minute. Let's go. That's awesome. You can count all of Lockjaw's animation frames that walk cycle in your hand. Truing. So chat, you yeah, guys like the ticking? This is what you tuned in for. This is this is the content you sign on to YouTube.com for. Quick, can someone send a GIF of Gary so that we can have David put it on screen? I would gladly do that. Please send that. Please find a GIF and send that to me. Or Dave. Yes, I, 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 maybe I could find a GIF of the Jellyfish Jam episode. Maybe. Lock when you see him sprinting, okay. I, I, this works. So if I see him sprinting, hide in the locker, sure. Let me check the live chat. I will in a second. <laughs> it's timed perfectly. Oh my god. When we're done with this, I will. If I die or make it. It's Where do I lock. see him sprinting? In the hallway or on the camera? Bye. The Pizza Tower stream when? I was thinking about doing that sometime. Maybe.
So where does Bonnie sprint? Where does that happen? A hallway? Okay. Mm -hmm. So the hallway in front of me? Sure. Uh, here, I'll, I'll, I'll get I'll get more Gary gifts for you. You could take your pick. All right. Sounds like he's like clanking two metal pipes together. <laughs> it kind of does. Oh. Wow, dude, that was a game. All right, let me see this. Where'd you send it? I sent it in live, uh, in live chat. Live chat? Okay. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'd like to save this. Scary. Gary, Gary, come home. Gary, Gary come, home. come home. Gave you down, I know. I was wrong. <laughs> I messed up. And now you go. Wow, 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 wow. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Right there. Perfect. Perfect. Right in the middle of the screen where he belongs. Oh. Purple guy, look, it's scary. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm gonna kill like the child again. Rah, evil. I like how literally everything important is covered up by Gary. <laughs> Are you prepared, chat? Oh, I haven't been more prepared in my life. <laughs> hey, remember me? <laughs> uh, it synced up so well. This is peak. This is so good. This is so good. I love this. I love the. Hello! Do not wear dirty suits. Is uh, screw you! You don't tell me what to do. We do not know where the suit came from, nor how it got here. Welcome, I'm a duck. Welcome to the stream! How are you today? I repeat, the suit is unstable and unsafe to use. Don't worry about the two others. They'll be fine. Uh, they are a lot safer than this one. Again, thank you for taking the time to listen to this recording. What was that? It was oh. Bonnie? What was Bonnie? That was Bonnie. What was Bonnie? That. That? Oh, okay, my bad. I love this game. Bonnie from the it, 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 Hindi game. Yeah. Feel like you're supposed to be dead? Nah. Look at him go. What do you think of the models in this one? Um, they're bad. They're better. Not by much. This is an improvement from Return of Freddy's 2, I'd say. A little bit. I'd say a pretty substantial improvement. Man. How many polygons do you think all those models have? Probably not many. You can tell by the shading if they have way too many. Oh, okay. Sure. Sure, I guess. What was that? Lockjaw. That's what you were talking about? Oh. <laughs> so wait, that makes me wonder if Bonnie can't kill me when looking at the camera. Can any of the characters kill me? Unless that's a made, a designed mechanic. No way. Sure. Let's let's try it out.
I think. And uh, Mike, put them on Twitter so I can retweet yeah. them. Yeah, putting them on Twitter is always a better option because they'll have a better reach. <laughs> All right, we're gonna try it. We are going to AFK with ticking. Are you ready, chat? We are going to completely AFK with ticking and see if this game is actually that bugged. Let's do it. We're gonna try it. While this is going, should we look at more? Hold on, let me, let me pull up the wiki. Man. Welcome back to Ticking Chat. Welcome. So while we do this, you want me to give you a rundown of the timeline? Oh no, I don't know if I do. So in 1940, uh, hold on, mute, mute the phone call. Can you mute the phone call? No, it's too late. Okay. Just wait till it's done. Oh. All right, I'll mute the stream until it's over. So this thing, thing gonna be taking for time to progress? No, it doesn't. This is power rising. 1940. A mobster from the states named Allison uh, wants to raid this facility called the Gilbert facility, which specializes in the researching and uh, treatment of super cancer. Right? Okay. <laughs> so, Allison goes in with his little goons. They start gooning everywhere, and they retrieve, they, they like, massacre most of the people inside. So, while Allison is going out, he finds a file labeled 90% immortality, uh, which has like the side effect of uh, he of he can no longer produce semen, I think. What? Uh, yeah. So that that that's a real that's a real plot point. So after he takes the 90% immortality, he's like, you know, so super now, now that wait, I'm immortality. Like, wait a second. Now that I'm like now that he drink. 45 now you drink half of it he's like 45 percent immortal now so 45 so, immortality makes you infertile yeah oh my gosh and uh, <laughs> so uh we we can we continue we continue down he's like you know i'm gonna open up a, a animatronic restaurant now called goldie paradiner and he hires two workers at that establishment named gron and vincent Right. Okay. And while they're working, they realize that uh, uh, Allison has a secret wall behind the Goldie Paradigm establishment that it has the secret enslaved workers and the torture device. And they follow uh, they follow Allison through many rooms, looking at him and seeing what he's doing and stuff. And they eventually are able to get out of his grasp, but Allison knows where they are. So, uh, now, now, that, now that they've fled out of Allison's grasp after escaping that, what do you think would be Gron's first action now that he's away from the Freddy Fazbear's uh, stuff and he's, and he's doing stuff? You wanna know what his first action is? He takes his entire family for a trip, for like a Christmas outing to uh, the restaurant that Allison still works at, right? And uh, while they're getting in the car, Allison hits Ron's family with his car. And they, 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 uh, sorry. Oh, Jesus Christ, okay, sorry. Uh, Allison hits Ron's family with their car. And then while everyone's in the hospital, Allison hires one of his goons to go in and kill Ron's wife. Oh, in wow. The hospital. And then uh, they wake up, and then they realize, well, no, the wife is dead. So him, uh, him, and his two sons go back home, and uh, as 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 like a little little thing to cheer them up, he lets them open his Christmas presents early. Oh, really? Yeah. And then one one of the kids got sent to foster care, I think, but the other one stayed, and he's the one that opened up his Christmas presents. I'm sorry, I'm having so much trouble following it. Cause did you see what is what happened? I'm what? immortal. I'm immortal. I took 100% immortality. You took 100% immortality? Ticking is so- look in the corner. I've been killed by two animatronics already. Wait, what? Yep, I'm immortal. 
Oh my god, 100. I'm immortal. The ticking is the ticking is so powerful. <laughs> the ticking has power. The ticking has power. <laughs> it's 100% immortal. This is crazy. <laughs> We're going to beat the whole game doing this. <laughs> Are we going to beat the whole game? Yeah. Oh wait, that means that means we get <clears throat> that means we could see the soap cutscene for real. The ticking made me immortal. This game is coded so well, isn't it? My camera's perpetually shaking, <laughs> and nothing else can spawn because the game thinks I'm dead. If... Oh my god, this is amazing. Technically invincible, not immortal. No, shut up. We're, 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 we're doing we're doing a spoof. We're doing a bit. We're doing a gaff. We're doing a glaggle. This is huge. You're infertile now, David! <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Dang it! Oh. That, that, that's the downside. Tough scene. <laughs> so, where were we? So, uh, yeah, where were we? I, okay, so Gron uh, has his... His like fan is broken up and stuff like that. And we then we time jump again to the events of Return to Freddy's One. <laughs> oh yeah, you get it. <laughs> oh, let's see, let's see this mini game. <sighs> Here, you can tell me the story while we're like sitting in ticking land. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Can't believe that I, that I wasn't caught in development. Dude, I'm just too good at the Return to Freddy's 4. You know what? While we're in Ticking Land, I got a good idea. Okay. I will be your narrator for the night. Okay. <clears throat> the Return to Freddy's, the dreadful truth. No. <laughs> there. Ch Life is nothing but a butterfly's dream. Chapter 1. On March 25th of 1942, oh? there was a secret Japanese government facility located on the other side of the world called Gilbert Facility. Okay. It was a hospital. Oh. A it held a secret project oh. that was meant to save people from a severe super cancer that was contagious. Oh. Sadly, there was no cure. However, on May of 1942, they had the idea of transferring one soul from one body to an object or mechanism of any kind of their choosing. So, they labeled it as the Save the Kids Project. Oh, okay. They had their technical engineers make some high-tech mechanical robots that was hopefully able to handle a human soul. Three patients had the disease for still. Oh, three patients that had the disease were ever so willing to be part of the project and signed up for it. The three patients, patient 20, patient 48, and patient 63, were sent to the testing chamber, where, soul, where the soul transfer would be put into pursuit. They were strapped into the hospital bed for safety precautions, and were knocked out with a shot so that they wouldn't feel anything during the process. As they put the metal soul exterior tube on all three of their hearts and brains, the energy from their body began to drain as well as the soul began its transfer. Their heart rate began to drop fast and went straight onto a flat line. Straight right onto a flat line? Yeah. Dude. Right, right when the scientists thought the test was unsuccessful, the robots began to awaken and... Wait and their heart rate began to drop fast and went straight into a f wait hold on we read that right uh, sorry th there, there's literally no spaces <laughs> wrong the test was successful and the three patients have been saved from their super cancer oh having my gosh patient 20 and having patient 20 put in fairy tale tie wait wait having patient 20 put in fairy tale tie Patient 48 be put in fairy tale Coley, and patient 63 be put in fairy tale Sally. 
However, they didn't want this to happen to the three patients. They wanted them to have their organic forms rather than living in a metal body. There was another there but there was no other choice they had. There was a liquid antidote they were working on, but they feared it would make a virus worse than it already was. So they didn't bother running tests of it just yet. They called it Code Radzla. Oh. Okay. Paragraph two. Uh, on July 4th of 1943, the owner of the Gilbert facility was ill. Allie, the son of Gilbert... Here, one second, Dags. Your... One second. Mm -hmm. I want you all... I want to bring attention to my little pet in the corner. We need to name him, chat. What do we name the little Friday that's keeping us company? What do we name him? <laughs> we need We need a name for him, chat. What do we name him? Fredbert, Jeff... Koala? It looks like a koala, that's true. BFB Ted the Freddy Returned! <laughs> Gilbert James Clyde Ethan. <laughs> Holly the <Koala>. Logan? <laughs> Logan! I like Logan. Logan Schmonzo! I like Logan. Let's call him Logan. No, you know, since Gary's up here, let's let's name him Gary. Let's name this guy Gary too. This is Gary yeah. the Bear. This is Gary Bear. Bear Gary. Gary Bear. Gary Bear. Gary Bear. Gary Bear. Gary Barry. Shall we continue with paragraph two? Uh yes. This is so long. I don't think we're gonna be able to finish the whole thing, but whatever. Nope. <clears throat> On January fourth of nineteen forty three, the owner of the Gilbert facility, Gilbert, was oh. very ill. Ali, the son of Gilbert, Gilbert, was there when his father later passed away from old age. Before his death, Gilbert said that he wanted to live for an eternity so he could be there as... Wait, so that he could be there as people were being saved from the virus. So, Ali had the idea. He would use the soul transporter they invented a year ago on his father and have the scientists working on the Gilbert facility make him a machine that would provide energy like no other to keep the mecro robots up and running oh. so that the three patients and, men and many others would stay alive and not shut down. That was so long without a period. What the on world? On July 17th of 1943, the machine was finished at last. They had the father's body put onto a hospital bed and the machine hooked up to a bunch of computers and monitors. Putting as much knowledge, power, and energy into the machine as possible, they couldn't tell whether this could work or not since the father was already dead. But suddenly, the machine was activated on its own. Oh! It had a voice and a mind of its own. Oh! It was a beautiful creation they had accomplished. This was happening during <laughs> World War II, by the way. <laughs> on September of 1943, Gilbert facility received a call from America. The person behind the line was a had a very unsettling voice as if he was looking into an inside job. He he asked about the mach a machine and its power, and what it cost to purchase such a device for them. Ali said that it wasn't for sale, and to have a nice day. As Ali hung up, he felt uncomfortable with the person he was just talking to on the phone. In America. When Ali hung up, the head of the boss of the Mafia drug gang, Allison, he was pissed. He wore a red stretch coat, blue jeans, and a white fedora. He told the gang, Pack your bags. We're going to Japan. As the gang members packed their bags and took oh, the flight to the yep. airport, they, they had devices of their own that they had created that would disguise weapons as... Oh. That, would, that would disguise any weapons and metal objects as safe, anonymous objects. What? Chapter 2. In Japan. When the flight landed, the gang tracked down where the cellular communications were coming from and headed towards the phone call's location. He called a lead. Welcome back, Captain Casway. He called a lead and gave him a warm, welcoming message before he would strike. As he called, a lead picked up the phone. A lead said, a lead asked who was calling, and Allison replied with, "Hey, buddy, it's me. Remember, you dis you declined my offer, and it was and it was going to be millions. <laughs> something that something that would be worth using. What?" <laughs> Something that would be worth using to upgrade your tech. But instead, what? I'm left with a decline. You know how much I hate being declined offers that are good? <laughs> Allison then hung up and sent the team of gang members in. The gang used the tech that they had and shut off all the lights in the uh, Gilbert facility. 
Average day at the Gilbert facility. <laughs> As a Lee. All right, Shatter, you ready? As a Lee was just about to escape the office, the office funeral transporter. Wait, the office funnel transporter door shut on him, and he was locked in. The narrator walks to the window of the office and stares at Ali deep into his eyes with despair. Ali panics as he starts uh, pounding his fists on the windows at the door, but it was no use. The narrator says, no one, no one declines a good offer. So thank you for dragging my ass down here, and I'll take it to rightfully mine. Have fun dying alone. I'll sure to Sir, sorry, I'll sure to send you a goodbye gift by shutting down your facility and your project to save everyone. This is the worst writing I think I've ever heard in my life. A toxic gas starts to release from the air vents, and the office, in the office, being trapped in there, Ali finds it harder and harder to breathe. As he screams for help, no one can hear him since the building. Wait, no one could hear him since the building was evacuated and several scientists were shot to death. <gasps> Their eyes being minced, bodies being hung from the bodies being hung for the world to see. Ali's vision blurs out as his heart slowly stops. The floor and he drops to the floor dead. As the gang walks out the doors of the Gilbert facility. Allison finds an interesting antidote bottle that caught his interest. It was labeled, it was labeled Code Ratzla, with a description that said, "An antidote being run for, an antidote being run for tests that is supposed to cure super, the super cancer virus, but has side effects like itchy throat, lightheaded, 90% immortality, and loss of sperm. The 90% immortality made him, made him want to take it." And he did by put, and I'm sorry, this is so hard to read. So don't even worry about it. It's fine. I don't think anyone's following. <laughs> I'm so and lost. Did, <laughs> and he did putting it in his coat pocket. They, they, the they gang, go the $2. This is better than the story I'm writing. <laughs> the gang escaped on time before the police had arrived to investigate the crime scene. As the gang headed back to the airport a week later to fly back to America, Allison decided to quickly drink half of Code Rat's the bottle, leaving the half the bottle left in just his case. Even Dormitibus had a better story. No, it did not have a better story. Dormitibus story screwed up. Yeah. It's not like, this is poorly written, but Dormitibus story is like, bad. Bad, not badly written. Bad as in like, immoral. Yeah. In America. Now that the gang had a hold of the machine, they had full control over the business. They wanted to make loads of money, so the idea to run a business known as Fazbear Inc. came to mind. They wanted to make Fazbear Inc. a manufacturing facility where they made animatronics of their own to create business across America that were one of the ch that were what that were for children's entertainment. But this wasn't for the kids. This was for the money, and this was easy money for Allison and the gang to make. On October 3rd of 1943, they created their first children's location called Goldie, uh, Goldie Paradigmer, where, the, where they had an animatronic- didn't, didn't they already mention this? Where they had an animatronic talking gold bear and gold bunny. They were, speci they were specially designed suits that Allison liked to call springlock suits, both animatronic and suit for a person to fit inside. As weeks went, the narrator's greed grew and grew stronger. He put up a for hire sign for Fazbear Inc. And and quite a lot of people were hired that day. On October 19th of 1943, an entertainer known as the Green Jester, or his real name Gron, was one of those people who were able to take the job at both Goldie Paradiner and Fazbear Inc. He was the full-time hard-working father with a loving wife and two kids. A very close friend of Gron's named Vincent was a slacker when it came to his job. A few days after Vincent got the job at Fazbear Inc., Gron and Vincent were talking and My slacking My brain off gained the job. super cancer while Allison trying to make gained, sense of the storyline. <laughs> as, as Allison was stalking and secretly watching above in the balcony in disappointment and anger, when things don't go his way, he gets the urge to force control upon those who don't behave. What? Several other employees were slacking off as well and breaks were certainly not allowed in Fazbear Inc. The employees who don't behave get two chances. Break chance one, you get dragged by you get dragged by the other gang members behind a secret wall 
that lies a horrible, dark secret of slavery and enforcement. Break chance two? You get forced in one of the torture suits and die from head- You get forced into one of the torture suits and die from head to toe as sharp knives and needles stab every part of your body. Die from head to toe? Draining your blood and organs inside out and using it as fuel to power up the torture suits, giving them a new and torturous life of pain and suffering. And for sure. Luckily for Gron, luckily for Gron and Vincent, they got an instant. Wait, luckily for Gron and Gron and Vincent, they got an inside. Me Wait, when I die from head to toe. <laughs> but Me when really my better. toes die. Most of them were sent behind the wall that lies the dark secrets of behind Fastbear Inc. Gron and Vincent were not aware of what lies behind the wall, or even if, it, or even of its existence. On October 9th, on October 29th of 1943, Gron and Vincent were finding Allison to be a little suspicious. Their curiosity got out of control as Gron and Vincent started to. Sorry. As Gron and Vincent started. She poked to me with quiet, needles till I die from head to toe. <laughs> And we win! We beat the game! Oh wait, oh wait, we beat the game? We beat the game! How do the characters oh. work again? I, f I forget. <laughs> this is Did actually the worst. All right, enough of that stupid book. I don't want to hear another word of it. I hate that Go. book so much. <laughs> You don't want to finish the novel? No! Okay. That book is actually so poorly written. Oh my it's, gosh. It's, it's soap time, David. It's so bad. It's... Where is soap time? Where is it? Finish a novel? No way! Mm. Oh, finish here it. we go! Yes! Later, stupid! <laughs> The we got to see the soap. We got to see the soap. Yes. Do night six. It's like important lore wise. Okay. Okay. While you do night six, I'll continue. No. <laughs> <laughs> Ahem. The no. All around. No. <laughs> no book. No more. Uh, I'm gonna die from head to toe. Yeah. No. The coast is clear. I'm gonna die! Oh, no! He put into the brick wall. I will bar him soap you! I don't wanna hear it! The wall closed No! No! to the wall and implemented the I will make you die from head to toe! No! The wall opened. You're quiet I... out the No fuck! No more fuck! That's liquid that they could only assume was blood. No more fuck! They they peeked behind the wall without being seen, and they saw something they'll never forget. They saw the lives of many being enslaved, whipped, beat up, and forced to work as the cries of many echo across the stairs. We'll check back in a second. <laughs> you 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 good, David? Is is David there? Okay. Okay. Anyways, Allison heard. No! <laughs> Allison heard the metal stairway sounds. Ron and Vincent quickly headed to floor eleven, where the machine was located, and their and tried their best to sabotage the machine to where it would stop making torture suits built for slavery and torture. <laughs> as Gron and Vincent damaged the machine, it's, it would seem as if it stopped, but without them realizing, they only made it worse and corrupted the AI. Gron and Vincent went back to floor one and saw Allison standing across from them with anger. As, Allison's, as Allison ran towards them trying to kill them, Gron and Vincent ran towards the other direction where the exit was located. They left the building, locked the door, and barricaded it. The narrator pounded on the door yelling at them. And, the, and as Gron and Vincent ran away, they heard screams, the sound of blood splatter and flesh being ripped. From that day forward, they've only found out 
from that day forward, they only found out they were working uh, a monster doing the doing the devil's deed. The narrator, however, re uh, remained alive and controlling the torturous beasts that roamed the facility of Fazbear Inc. On November 5th of 1943, three employees who worked at Fazbear Inc. accidentally sent off a shipment of two more animatronics at the Goldie Bear Diner location. The two extra suits soon arrived. Oh my god, there's, it's such a big wall of text. At the doorstep of Goldie Paradiner, and the owner of the location was confused about the delivery and opened the package. He didn't make an order and saw all the blueprints for the suits were completely different. These weren't spring lock suits. These were something completely different that he didn't know of. For safety precautions. Shake the baby. They had, Shake the baby. Shake it. They had two Shake it till it stops. Known as Golden Shake it till it stops. And, Kitty Fa and Golden Kitty Fast Jack. Shake it till it stops. And the hidden bunker underground where no one could find them, except for anyone working there. The suits will be checked out as soon as. The suits will be checked out, he said, as he closed the latch, covered with a covered it with a rug. The three employees back at Fasper Inc. went to floor went to floor nine out of curiosity, and investigated their boss put floor nine as off limits. They opened the door and heard it creaked open. There was webs and dust everywhere. And in front of them, and in front of the three, were the eyes of the torture suits. The beast, torture buster, and torture saver, parentheses werewolf animatronic. The boss, parentheses narrator, checked on the cams and saw the three employees in 4-9. The employees saw meat cleavers, hooks, chains, knives, slaughter equipment, dead corpses, and turned around to see Allison standing in front of them saying, I thought I said this room was off limits, hmm? Did you really think you could get away with this? This is my factory, my rule, and you didn't want to play by my rules. One of the three employees said, I'm sorry, please, let us go. I have kids to feed. We won't go into this room again, we swear. On our life that we won't tell anyone. Allison replied with, bet on it. Allison grabbed a rusty metal pipe off the ground and abused them with it. <laughs> to the point where they were bruised severely and blood was running down their nose and mouth. The employees were foolish enough to get into the three torture suits labeled the Slaughter Crew and thought that they could fight back using the metal torture suits. They were wrong and failed to notice that they couldn't move. Allison could do nothing but laugh and grin evilly at them. One of the three employees said, Stop! Get us out of these things! Allison replied with, You dumb asses! When a person enters the torture suits, it automatically deploys torture mode, meaning you're not getting out. See this button here? I'm gonna press it, and when I do, I'm gonna watch you die and scream my name. I'll watch as your family loses you and wonders why you never came home for a warm meal. I'll watch as your family wonders why you never came back home to say goodnight to your children. Goodbye, fools. It was a shame it had to come to this. As Allison pressed the button, one of the employees yelled, Damn you! As the, <laughs> as the torture suit shoves and stabs and knives and needles down from head to toe, draining every bit of blood and organs on their bodies, dying head to toe. As the fuel, they scream the torture suits. They shove the they shove and stab knives and needles, <laughs> and cried as Allison watched them die until he heard nothing come out of their mouths. On December twenty third, nineteen forty three, Gron was going to take his wife and two kids to Goldie Pear Diner for an early Christmas celebration for the kids. Keep <laughs> good, David. Gun. Are you still going? Ron got into the car and while he was buckling the seatbelt. His wife Linda yelled as Gron's name, and Gron looked up only to see a car charging right towards them at high speed. Crashing their car, the impact was severe, and the damage to the family was near death. Allison stepped out of his car, walked up to Gron while he was knocked out, and said in his ear, You will learn from this. 
You will learn not to fuck with me. And my business ever again. Allison decided to then run back to Fazbear Inc. And wear new spare clothing so that the evidence of him being a part of the crash wasn't there. The neighbors then talked outside and saw the damage, contacting 911. The ambulance soon arrived, bringing him to the emergency room. Allison saw this and wasn't about to let Gron's life get back to the way it was. So he sent one of his gang members to be a hitman and caused more damage to Gron's life. When the ambulance arrived at the hospital and he got to the emergency room, the doctors were falsely called out to another patient for another doctor to take over the procedure. The gang member's hitman then entered the room in disguise as a doctor and walked up to Gron and looked at him for the longest time. He then said, you should have never came back to the Faster Inc. family. Then he walked over to Linda's life support and stared back at Gron. Then ripped the cord, shutting down every bit of life Linda had left in her. Gron saw a glimpse of this happen, and opening his eyes and yelled, no! as he broke down in tears, seeing his life falling apart one chunk at a time. The hitman then ran to Gron and knocked him out by hitting him across the head with his handgun. The hitman then snuck out of the building. The job was done. One of the real doctors returned to the room, finding the life support deactivated and called for medical attention for the patients immediately. Several doctors then headed over to the room to assist. A day later on December 24th, Gron awoke from his sleep on the hospital bed. The doctors looked at him and awoke. He sighed with disappointment. One of the doctors came up to Gron and said, Gron, we have some bad news. We tried everything we could to stabilize your wife, but she's gone. I'm sorry. Gron could do nothing but break down crying. As Gron got up, he limped towards his dead wife on the hospital bed and kissed her hand in tears. Gron kept whispering, I'm sorry to his wife and children. The other doctor then stood up and said, We're going to have to send you and your youngest child to a... F We're going to have to send your youngest child to a foster family. We need to assure his safety. But we can't do the same for your oldest, since he's at an age where he can make his own decisions. We can't force that at his age, that's it. The youngest child got up, hugged his father, Ron, said, I love you, Daddy. The doctor then held his youngest child's hand and walked up to his new family he was being sent to. The youngest child looked back at his father as he was walking up and waved goodbye. The oldest child then made a choice. He decided he was going to save his father. He loved them too much to let them go. They were safe to return back to their old home, and they were in good enough condition to do so. So Gron with the oldest child. So Gron, the oldest child, got to a taxi and went back home. Gron decided to give his oldest child an early Christmas present. As the oldest child opened it, as the oldest child opened the present, he looked at it to see a hat that Gron used to wear. As ridiculous of a present that was, he appreciated, cherished it, and smiled. Gron smiled as well. As the day turned to night, it was about time to head to bed. Gron and his son, tucked in the bed, fell fast asleep, kisses his forehead. Gron couldn't bear to have his own child see his own father in such a horrible state of condition. He didn't want to have his child to see his own father. Not in so the membership. Physically and mentally. So Gron Welcome. Wrote a, so Gron then wrote a little note for his son to read and said. Dear Charles, Daddy won't be home for a very long time. I did some things that I can't exactly explain to you since you're too young to understand. I'm sorry, little one. I'll be back. Soon. Your Daddy. The oldest son, Charles, didn't know what to do alone. He only knew so much, but he wasn't ready for this. Then he stood paralyzed for a few seconds as he heard a voice in his head. Charles heard whispering in his head get louder as a more familiar voice that sounded like his mother. He slowly looks towards the open, unopened gift box, slowly open it, and the whispers grew louder and louder. Chapter 3 Gron, <laughs> Gron went to meet up with his old pal Vincent at Goldie Paradiner. All he could hear were whispers in his head saying the prophecy over and over again. As he opened the doors, so the, the owner came up to Gron saying, Hey Gron, welcome back. I'm sorry to hear what happened to your wife and younger child. I'm really sorry to hear this. Is there anything I could do to help you out? Gron replied with, A drink and maybe some Advil would help, thanks. 
Grant started hallucinating as if he saw a little boy with a fedora and a blue shirt and almost looked like him when he was little. But Gran looked closer. It was him. Gran hallucinated his younger self and grabbed his hand and led him towards the back room of Goldie Paradiner. Vincent saw Gran. Shush! <laughs> are, we, are we done? No more! You've been <laughs> reading it for 40 minutes! Vincent saw Gran was acting <laughs> and came to help. Vincent grabs Gran and Buddy. We're gonna take a break, chat. We're gonna take a break. We're gonna take a break. From, from. Hi. Oh, hi. Grant then cries on Vincent's. <laughs> hi, David. Hi. I'm sorry, Vincent. I don't know what's wrong with me. Hi. Hi. What's up? How you doing? Vincent replies with, hey. <laughs> You're only delaying the inevitable. You started acting really strange. This is my breaking point. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. Don't do it. Don't. Don't do it. And I just wanted to make sure that my pal was in A-OK -okay condition. Now, shall we get that drink you wanted? Gron nodded as they went to get a drink in the coke. It's over, Chet. It's over. It's over. It's over. He can't hurt us anymore. I did this. I, I did this. Mm -hmm. I killed him head to toe. What if he's still reading? Just sitting as the golden. Suit of Golden Frankfurt. Dags. He looked around for self Dags. self to play fight. Dags. <laughs> yes. We are going to move on to the last game, and I do not hear, <laughs> not hear another word from that fuck. <laughs> God, there was another game. Yes, there is one more game. <laughs> we are going to move on, and I'm not going to hear another word from that book. Okay. Okay. Ron walked up to Vincent. No, I'm kidding. You were so close. <laughs> You're gonna be good, and we're going to move on. Okay? Okay? Okay! You've been reading that for 40 minutes! Yes! It's been 40 minutes! Yes! <laughs> there are nine chapters in this book. Thanks, please stop. <laughs> It's only on chapter three. Hey, everything for the eleven dollars, Freddy's. Freddy's. I'm not doing another night of the Return of Freddy's Four. That game is awful. We're gonna <laughs> play the last game we have today: the Return to Freddy's Desolation.
Windows protected my PC. Yeah. Stupid. 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 So stupid. Would you rather listen to the tick for like three hours? Or would you rather listen to a full narration of me reading? I would rather tick? listen to the ticking. <laughs> really? Yes. Oh my gosh, that's the beginning of the book! Nothing is more than a That's the beginning of the book! Yeah. We are not responsible for any deaths, strokes, heart attacks, seizures! What?! <laughs> I'm going to tell you a story. Damn right I am. Oh my gosh, it's Sans. Key, key screen share. Yep. How long have we been doing this? We've How been here times? for almost three hours. No, I'm, I'm reading. You're doing what? I'm getting tired okay. of never dream that I did not know. Time and time again, I thought I could escape them. That I can keep them in iron coffins where they belong. So close. I was able to do stone cold and I fell flat on my face. I find it fabulous how my faith always finds a way to screw me over. I'm sure you feel the same. If my current theory is indeed correct, however, I might be able to make this world anew. I'm aware that you hate me, but you will agree later. You always do. Have you ever wondered if you even had a single choice that you made alone? Would you believe the answer? I wonder. Will defend you? No, Carson. What do they mean they're responsible for deaths could cause during the game? Would they need to say that? Chat, I'm afraid some of us aren't making out of this. Anyways, we are running out of short time. I got matters to attend to. I'll bear the burden. <laughs> we are running out of short time. It's your story now. <laughs> oh, it's the torture device. It looks like Sideshow Bob. It's the torture device. That's Sideshow Bob. Dags needs a video slash stream just reading the book. <laughs> All right, chat. Here we go. <laughs> what the? I know what you want. Oh my gosh, she's doing the stupid. Oh my. When a girl joins the VC. Hey, how you doing? Hey, yeah. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Oh, uh-oh. Is this copyright? Is this... I think it's too quiet. I think it's too quiet. I don't think you'll... I think it's fine. Okay, just keep That's talking. Right. Dags, keep talking. Yeah. Keep talking. Keep... Oh, do not read! Do, do not read! Do not! Here for a self play button. Turn my flesh killing him. Okay, wait, I'm good. Location of the force. Send you for a bondage. Lockdown ends. Are you the... Why? 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 Huh? 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 What's happening? I'm confused. Okay. So, trivia about this game. This is a reimagined version of The Return of Freddy's Find. 
or five, my bad. What what's going on? Huh? Yeah, it's free roam. How do I moving? What? Yeah. Oh, I get it. Okay. Good evening. Are you gonna kill me? Oh, you're not. Okay. Three, three, nine. I think, I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know. Okay. Huh? Yeah. It, it, <laughs> what do you think of this? This is so stupid. What? I can't see anything. Is there something in here chasing me? That's a dumb mechanic. I don't think so. Not this way. Okay, not that way. Okay. This is... This is insane. This is actually insane. This is peak. This is psychotic. What am I okay. doing right now? You're going. I, where? Going where? There. I'm gone! Oh. <laughs> huh, 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 huh? I can't leave. What's going on? Uh, blocks. Do you know what you're supposed to do here? Why is it why is it only doing that when I move? What? Oh, Look at that. Look, it. it's normal and I press W to stretch it out. You don't move like that, too. You good, David? No, I'm not good. No, not even blocks knows what to do. Oh, we're screwed. Oh, let's, let's continue. <laughs> there, there has to be an exit somewhere. Maybe it works like Super Mario 3D Land, where it'll show you where you're supposed to go if you stand still and you need to navigate. I doubt it. They wouldn't think that far ahead. This is a different section down here, right? Oh, wait, I can go underneath this? No, I can't. I'm just kidding. Oh, I'm soft locked. No, wait, I'm not. Wait. Do you even need to walk in those confines? I'm soft locked. I'm soft locked. Just, just go. Just no, go. wait, I can go on the walls, but I can't. I. I can't move. You can't go up? I, what is going on? I don't, nothing looks wrong. I'm walk, I. I was waiting until we soft locked the game. <laughs> Poorly lit me. Yep, there it is, I'm soft locked, yep, yep. There it is. I'm soft locked. I can't go. I can only go left and right for one. Yeah, I'm soft locked. Into each line. Oh, okay. I'm out now. Okay. Just spamming worked. Sure. All right. Hold on. Stand still. Okay. Uh, there has to be something to go. Didn't we start on that side? Yep. Actually? Okay, then. Oh, okay. Down. What? I walked through a wall? 
Cool. Okay then. Someone blocked into the main area off of the good portrait west hallway. Okay. I, I mean, these environments look pretty cool, at least. I... I... Okay. Hi, Freddy. I still really remember a time, a time before where these things used to bring joy to the hearts. Okay, yeah, whatever. I remember, too. Okay. What do I... You can probably go into the party rooms. Maybe? Yeah, this one. Is there anything in here? No. Okay. Why why does it say you here, but I'm not there? Should we want to, oh, yes, I went into the office. Yes, I would like to Freddy and Bonnie. Oh my gosh. Both the animatronics will try to oh enter the God, office from the left. Too. Dude, holy post shift. Look at them in the cameras to slow them down or temporarily stop them from moving using the shock button. When you hear a running sound effect, turn your generator off to avoid death. Pop it. Puppet, the puppet will occasionally appear in your cameras when when he does, you will appear a wh hear a whispering sound effect. Be sure to shock him quickly. You might also hear a strange music box sound effect if you go in the arcade machine. Look. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Where? Oh my gosh! What does all this mean? You cause system strain every single time you uh, go on the camera. Um. Okay. Hold on, let me go back on stream and read the mechanics again. Okay, both of these animatronics will try to enter your office from left, from the left. From Whispering, the right where's hole. the puppet? Oh. Be sure to shock him quickly. Where's the puppet? Is that um, it? Oh, it seems like it was. Oh, good evening. Okay, what do we do about that? Nothing. I can't click on the camera. Turn your generator off. I can't. Oh. I need to be in the camera to do it. Can you do anything else? No. Okay then. That's odd. Uh. What, what? You, you cannot do anything else in this menu. No, I can't do anything. Just like click randomly. And I'm doing that. Something. None what? of the buttons do anything. Arcade stream. No, that doesn't work either. The arcade machine. I, I don't know what, what the, what did the game break? I. I'm very confused. Boop nose, okay. Boop, 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 boop. It's not doing anything. It's unboopable. I don't. And if it's being colored, whatever. It's it's fine. Whatever you, whatever is best for you. It's fine. I don't I don't need color. It's okay if you don't know color. It's okay. You don't need to do color if you don't want to. What? What is happening? What is going on? What is? I need I need I need some water. I need, need water. <laughs> I don't know what's happening either. Is the game broken? I think I so. Feel like we, I feel like we should have died by now. I think we should have too. The clock is stuck at 12. Yeah, it's stuck at 12. It broke the game. I... Something entered the office, I think. Oh, finally. Oh my gosh. Oh, I, I can't. I cannot play these stupid games anymore. Come this on, is actually on, the on. worst. Yeah, no. Yeah, get it. Oh, We're uh, done. It's been We're three done. hours of this. We're done. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Dang, thank you for joining me for that, but that was the worst experience. That was so... Oh. This These games suck. How do you like them? How do you like them?
look, in life, you need something that's so bad it's good. And that's yeah. this room. That's like Ban Ban. This is better than Ban Ban, I'd say. No, it's not! At least this is, no, like, re researching the Return to Freddy's and, like, everything that's around it is so interesting. It's genuinely one of my favorite things to come out of the entire FNAF franchise because of how absurd it is. I've lost my mind, but I've actually lost it. But thanks for joining me for that. I'm going to let you go here and wrap wait, things wait, up. Wait, 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 what wait. What are you going to do? Wait, wait. Before I go, I have some parting words. If you read that book, if you read that book. He growls like some sort of zombie as he... Dags is gonna... Dags is gonna... D Dags is, is... Dags said bye, chat. Dags said bye. Okay, anyways. Anyways, chat. Oh my gosh. These games are awful. Never play them. But... <laughs> if you enjoyed the stream, make sure to hit the sub button right down there if you enjoyed it. It's, uh... We have good times here. Tomorrow, we're playing Iron Lung, which is going to be fun. Uh, Iron Lung's going to be a game. I've heard mixed things about it. So don't miss that. Put a reminder on for the next stream tomorrow. You can find it on the, on the YouTube page. And uh, yeah, thank you all for joining me for that. I, I hope you all have enough money for therapy after that. I'm going to need it. Uh, Dags, thank you for the five stars. I'm dying head to toe. You made me die from head to toe, but thank you for joining me, man. I appreciate you being on for that. I don't, I think I would have lost it a lot sooner if you weren't there. So, again, thank you for joining me. If you have not already, join the Discord in the description below. There's a link right there. You get notifications on schedules, notifications on streams, all that stuff. And also follow me on Twitter if you have Twitter. Probably, you probably shouldn't. Probably shouldn't install Twitter. If you have it, don't get it. But if you have it, go follow me. Why not? Anyways, thank you for watching. See you guys tomorrow. And I will see you all next time.